Why does this happen to me? Ah, it's okay. Fuck. God damn it. Why does it happen to me? Why does it keep resetting, man? It keeps changing my microphone source. Like, God damn it. How's everyone doing, guys? Welcome. Welcome. Hopefully everyone's having a good afternoon, good night, good uh, almost the weekend. I need, I want like a, like a, something Christmassy, you know? That actually doesn't look so bad, does it? No, my chest looks so fucking big. I want something sleek. Sheesh. Yeah, we'll go with that. Fuck it. How's everyone doing? Have you seen the new gold shader? What? A new gold shader? Excuse me? Um. Boom. So, uh, we are gonna farm. We are gonna farm some uh, things. All right. Stream is up. Um. So I'm gonna try to get a dawning weapon because I don't think I have any dawning weapons. And then we're gonna farm some shattered throne CPs uh, for some essence. Greetings, still out from the flu, but feeling a bit better. Hey, dude, glad to hear it, man. So, you get from one of the triumphs for the title? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Take this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna farm some Dawning Essence because I want to make lots and lots of cookies. And then, um, yeah, that's kind of that. Oh my God, give me some fucking red borders. Thank you, that's what I'm saying, dude. I don't know what my vault looks like, but hopefully it's good. Um, hold Gol heard Golgi Mace is a better farm. You cannot farm for essence. Or uh, sorry, not essence. Yeah, essence. You can farm for spirit in the Golgroth maze, but not for essence. Wait, you believe it was fixed? What does that mean? What do you mean it was fixed? Bro, there ain't no way they patched the Shattered Throne one and not the Investigation one. Is there an Essence cap? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know your mom. No idea. There might be. Isn't there, there's a way to see what the caps are on things? I think Dim shows you what the caps are on things, doesn't it? No, not throw away, not throw away, not throw away. Uh... There's a way to see caps on things, and Chemo showed me before. Yo, how do you see caps on things again? Data.destinysets.com? Okay, and then I'm gonna go turn in a couple cookies and try to get some weapons, because I want a weapon. Uh, oh fuck, what the fuck is this? Essence. I can't click on anything on this. I don't know how this site works. Whatever. Probably like a million. Do you know who Kyle Hill is? Uh, I have no idea who that is. Yo, Dawson, how you doing? The family's doing well, Steven. He's talking about repeat farming doing Karu. Oh, you guys thought I was talking about Thrallway. My bad. I didn't even, it didn't even occur. Thrallway's been gone for so long. That didn't even occur to me that you guys might be thinking that I'm talking about that. That's my bad. That's my bad, gamers. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I want to start working on dawning stuff because I didn't get to do it yesterday. So I need a ton of essence and I need like 2,000 kills with dawning weapons. So uh, first off, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna try to get a dawning weapon real quick. RQ, 
Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can get another upgrade. Can I get one to focus? Unity and edgy gifts. Position and limited. So like SMG would probably. Actually say fuck. Is it it's kinetic or stasis? That's kinetic. Just look at it. Or just farm with Anarchy and use a cold front? Yeah, probably. So I'll focus for a cold front, which is acquisition and the limited exchange. What the fuck is acquisition? Uh, here's limited. Oh, you need Dawning Spirit to do it? Bruh. All right, I'm just gonna turn in and try to get, can you get weapons just as random drops still? Dawning weapons are not craftable, but you can focus for them. Sorry. I, could get you I didn't know you needed Dawning Spirit. Did they change the Zephyr Sword? They changed all of them. They all have different skins now. It looks really cool. Lovely. Okay, let's cook some shit. How do you farm Bright Dust with the bounties? You just get, so every repeatable gives you like 10 Bright Dust or whatever, and you just farm a fuck ton of cookie ingredients and essence, and then you, um, uh, then you just complete the bounties. So like, for instance, I have to make Andy Ghosts, Vanilla Blades. I just want it for right now, I just want to make ones for people who are in the tower, which is literally just Vanilla Blades. Uh, I don't even know if I can make that right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm literally just gonna make ones for people in the tower uh, because I am low on ingredients and all I want to do... Of course I would have the most of these. Tell your friends about Eva. Yes, Crafts, I know. I plan on making a short about that. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, gift in return. Come on. Be a gun. It's easy math, Guardian. You got the silver. Where the fuck is it? Now's work the oven. Oh shit. I did on my other characters. Fuck! I just wasted so much. Thank you guys for letting me know. Why do you have to mass work it individually on every character? Sheesh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just straight up can't get guns from these? Oh, you can't. Goodbye. It's dumb as fuck. Are you serious? You used to be able to, right? Or am I just dumb? I don't fucking know. I'm not your mom. Hi again. Okay, only focusing then. Sure. Checking now. So let me go turn in. As I turn in stuff, I get spirit though still, right? It's the item in the bottom right. So I get three yeah, spirit that. per. Take a look. Okay, well hopefully that's enough to focus for a gun. Bottom right of my inventory is a moment to triumph thing. I now have five five slots taken up by shirt things. Oh, they had 40 resilience. Oh God, I didn't even see that. Oh. Sheesh. All right, do I have enough to focus for a gun? I literally just want to focus for an SMG. Oh, okay, two more. Uh, that's fine, because I have one for... If only you could dismantle. You can dismantle, but I don't want to, because I'm cool. There we go, okay. So the reason I want a dawning SMG is because you need to 
thousand dawning weapon kills for the guild. And I think, you know, why why the fuck not? Just go ahead and get started on that. You mean weapon acquisition? Oh, wait, what? What in the fuck is happening? What? Oh, you have to do the triumphs to get them? All right, fuck it. I was just gonna say Frosty, I don't even care. There we go. God roll first try. Thresh, 10 out of 10 would, would do again. Okay. Uh, and then we're just gonna use... It's even good in this slot. All right, sorry, Shrimp and Lab. That's my my bad. I'm taking longer than I thought I was going to. Sorry about that. Boom, and then we're just gonna put on Anarchy. We got our Anarchy out here. What is what is this? It's fucking trash. That's what it is. We bring in an Anarchy back. Sick. Okay, ready to farm. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, Shrimp or Lab, would either of you two like to be CP guy? I can be CP guy, that's fine. But uh, I don't know if either of you would prefer to do it. Up to you. Man didn't claim the materials? What do you mean, man didn't claim the materials? What fucking materials? Let's take a look. What goddamn materials? Oh, and my Postmaster? I like purposely leave those there. Checking now. I'm not that guy. I am not that guy. Let's check. You must have well, if one of you doesn't mind for like stream content, I would like to not be the CP guy, but uh, it's, it's up to you. Just cause it's like, you know, currently just leaving and joining every time. Uh, I get a little boring to watch, but it's really, um, it's really up to you guys. Whatever you would like. You can be CP guy? Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it then, let's do it. I think you should be the CP guy. Coops, I think you should stop playing Final Fantasy and come play Destiny with the boys. That's all I'm saying. Hey, nice emblem trip. 1350 Anarchy, yeah, dude. Anarchy never even got a catalyst, man. It's drip or drown and I'm swimming. <laughs> I love all the cowboy hat nonsense is my favorite. I fucking love it, man. You just see like people with these like badass skulls and then they're just wearing a goofy ass cowboy hat. It's fucking awesome. What cookie are you farming for? I, um... <laughs> uh today uh it's less about farming for cookies right now uh because i i won't really farm for any specific cookie what i like to do is get like all of the ingredients and then farm like the bounties um so it's not necessarily about farming any specific cookie um although i am playing on my hunter so i can get a lot of the stuff that i would normally not get um which is uh, arc, arc kills, melee kills, like these sorts of things. Um, so that's why I'm going to be playing on Hunter. But I'll prob what I'll probably do because we're do we've got a long gambit session planned on Saturday to guild that. Um, and so I'll probably just like save all my shit up until like next week, and then just turn them all in at once. What the fuck? Why am I moving backwards? Do you see how bad the ornament is for the Anarchy and the Sword? Is it the Christmas one? I like that one, dude. Dude, I like this one. What? You just got deep side other half? Fuck yeah, dude. Is uh, Essence Unlimited? 
or does it have a cap? I don't fucking know. It, it might have a cap, but even things that have a cap sometimes can spill over. So I don't know. Uh, shrimp. It's not as cool as the SIVA one, to be honest. I miss Anarchy, man. Anarchy, it, it never had a shot. It deserved more from us. Why well, just do Inkaru have an orange health bar? I don't know, dude. I didn't make the raid. Dungeon. Oh my god, how many of these things do I have to unlock? Holy shit. Bro! Thank you. I was gonna put solo operative on, but I don't that right now, do I? Just put weak and clear on and we'll be fine. Call today. What did I have on? So how's this work again? Y'all two man while I load in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess I should really just focus on getting melee kills or donning weapon kills. I don't know which one I should focus on. I should probably put on a better special for this. Nice. Yeah, and then it's just 21 essence free for like 10 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna put on a better secondary here. Oh, Praetis isn't in the slot, fucking idiot. Uh, what is good in this slot? Oh my god. I haven't used anything but forbearance in so long. I literally don't know what else is in this slot that's like decent. Uh. <laughs> I guess that's what we're using. Oh, Philo, of course. Of course, Philo, Philo, thank you. Yeah, freaking like I'm just being dumb. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get some GL finder. Let's get some Philo finder, which is three. Never mind. As long as I have GL, we're, we're, we're cooking. So I think as soon as lab jo like joins, I think we should be good. Yeah, so I think we can go right now. Um... So I think like art kills here are gonna be good. Oh God, this thing really sucks. Okay, I'm just gonna do hunter things. I can get dawning weapon kills later. <laughs> Wait, what if I do it here? Yeah, I'm just gonna be a dodgy boy, I guess. Thank you, Steven. Tiku's and the new dungeon bow uh, work with Warmind cells. How does Tiku's? I guess Tiku's does with uh, with Wrath, yeah. My game's very loud, or your game's very loud. The orbital space station is on Tuesday. We learn how to get to the orbital space station. Yours? I can turn it down. Turn it down for sure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this for a little bit. We're gonna get all of our get a lot of essence. 
Um, and then maybe I'll do some like snowball farming or something. Do, are there any snowball kill triumphs? Oh, I didn't anarchy these nerds. For strikes and dares? Okay, we'll do that next then. No, doing Garo, please no. Have mercy on my soul. We only have eight seconds. Easy. On top, recluse anarchy. That's right. That's what we should be running. Tides, how you doing, man? This coming Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, like a week from yesterday. Gotta go for a haircut. Quitter! <laughs> I'm just messing. Have a good day. Thanks for joining. Okay, so I'll, I'll do some snowball stuff as well. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to farm up to, but... I mean, this is just such a fast farm. I think it's definitely the fastest. It seems faster than the investigation, at least. Um, and uh, we can just chill for a bit. And it lets us, once again, just get, like, a shit ton of materials uh, for melee, which I pretty much never melee on Warlock, and then also Arc, which I don't really use on Warlock either, so. Do you use your boon? Uh, no. What does that do? That's, that's like, where it gives you an Eververse thing, right? Where's the last guy? You stole a false spire? Hell yeah! That's awesome. Uh, you get a free boon that looks recorded for interacting with the, all the upgrades? Wait, what? Do you actually? Is that like a triumph or something or that just happens? To be kind of honest, I missed when an OP loadout was guns, just like in nuclear infinite grenades. Yeah, but I do love grenades too. Don't get me wrong. I just miss gunplay with a bigger part of the sandbox. Yeah. Uh, do you know that you can get... Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right, right? Um... Um, it's just different, right? Like it's, I don't know. I, I do miss when guns were more important, but I also do have a lot of fun with a lot of ability spam. So it's, uh, for me, it's, it's hard to say, honestly. I, I think, you know, ebbs and flows are good. Like sometimes having very powerful, um, so different, different powerful things I think is only good, and different types of powerful things I think is really good as well. Ooh, in the shit. Not a lot of, getting a lot of ingredients from this, am I? Why are you doing Shadow Throne? Because this is way faster than Investigation. Oh, change ship. Thank you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. That's right. Okay. Oh, okay. Shrimp, what's your loadout? What's your loadout? Bruh. <laughs> Bro, you don't even have for your trackers on them? Oh, dude, that hurts. 
I miss double slugs a lot. I agree. Dude, the ship benefits kind of go hard. You deleted the tracked ones? Why? I wish they didn't all... Oh, I guess I got one there. Rep score? Oh, dude. Dude, no. Not worth it. Dude, her hitbox sucks. <laughs> Sure, she's a good farming strat with the ship for spirits. Yeah, I'll probably actually go to Golgoroth and do that. Um, but right now, it's it's more about the essence for me, so. I still remember when people complained saying not everyone can uh, hot swap double slug subdue with new hands. Does, does it prove you wrong? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, that was just one of those things, you know? Like, it's, I really love advanced stuff like that. But it's not for everyone, man. So, I don't know. I enjoy I enjoy higher skill gap things and, and more advanced techniques. Um, but uh, maybe that makes me elitist. I don't really know, man. <laughs> you know? So. Uh, Yo, Scary, how are you doing? Did runs of King's Fall today? Got touched twice in a row. No, that's nice. Uh, season 13, I think. I'm so glad this boss doesn't have a stomp mechanic. Um, it wasn't even a requirement. It just did things ca uh, casually. You were still fine uh, during that time with other DPS options. They were just better. Uh, but not all of it was like you had to do this. For a lot of low man challenges, you had to do it. But um, I just think that's the sort of shit that makes it fun, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? Just like learning that to do like duo flawless deep stone was so much fun. And I, I really like advanced stuff like that. You guys know um, you bought the uh, upgrade the helm. This gives you umbral energy too. Oh, fuck. I did not do that. we've been on this journey together for over three months today it ends on my 51st looted clear touch mouse drop fair winds and calm seas friend you mu now you must journey alone i'm all alone how does this farming method work uh same way all cp farms work you just you have one person hold the shattered throne cp they load you in they leave they switch characters they join back and then uh you complete the checkpoint so lab loads us in he switches characters he joins back we farm Shirochi, or uh, Duenkaru. Every time you kill Duenkaru, you get 21 or 22 essence. And altogether, it takes like one minute. Maybe like two minutes with travel time. And then the lab leaves. He goes back on his character with the... Um, Goes back on his character with the checkpoint. We join. He brings us back in. Easy melt. Yep. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is just a super, super fast farm. Take off your wig.
Is Anarchy back with uh, Breach and Clear or Weakened Clear? No, it's not back. Well, it's not like bad for this. I'm just using it because you can kill all three knights at the same time. Uh, do you use a uh, ship from previous? Yeah, use the Stargazer or the Starfarer 7M. Dude, when I got that Blast Furnace with the shader, that shit was so funny. How do you sleep without it getting stuck under your back? Uh, I don't really know what that even means. I have never had to deal with my hair getting stuck underneath my back. I don't know. What the? Easy. I wish that had a rally flag, but it's like laying down your hair. Yeah, it's not really an issue. I don't know. Sounds like an issue, not an issue me. No, it's not really. Um, Like, I guess my hair's long, but it's like when I'm laying down, it's like right here. Like, it's not. I guess it's not long enough for that to be an issue or I've never noticed it. I don't know. That's a very interesting question. Wait, how does Fallout pronounce chitin? Bro, you want to see how Fallout produces, pronounces chitin, dog? Let's see how Fallout produces, uh, pr pronounces, not produces, pronounces chitin. Think you're going to buzz cut your hair soon? No, bro. Lame. Honestly, this does more damage than my shotgun. I should just use that. Uh, here we go. The Golgoroth encounter. Get to that point in the raid either through doing it with a group or grabbing it via LFG. Let's if listen. Let's want, listen. Let's also listen. Also, share that checkpoint with your homies. Yeah, yeah, okay. Having, you share that checkpoint. Here, you'll notice that ahead of you is a group of thrall that will Ready? not only repeatedly spawn in forever, but do so immediately. They also won't move, like, at all, even if you get really, really uncomfortably close to them. If you're not sure where I am in the maze, by the way, here, any complicated loadout, the forehead in green or whatever. I mean, you definitely could do that, but why over the time? That's really all you get multiple ingredients from doing this, including multifaceted flavors, bullet spray, taken butter, and cheating powder. Oh, by the way, cheating powder, brother. Bro, you get plenty of cheating powder, brother. For anyone who doesn't know, it is pronounced chitin. Is the is the correct pronunciation. It's cheating powder, brother. Got to go get my cheating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude i love fallout he's awesome but when, as soon as i heard that i was like no shot <laughs> he's cheating powder bro cheating powder is also what i call advanced because it makes you so good at the game it's cheating powder brother Yee yee. Fucking awesome, man. Does anyone have a clip of uh, of Sweatsicle saying it? Every why do so many people just call it shit? Are you serious? It's chitin. Have you fuckers never played Skyrim before?
by the way, everyone, by the way, uh, we are doing a giveaway over on Twitter. So I, I was given two of these emblems to give out. Beautiful. I'm sorry, this one's a little low res, but a beautiful emblem. Binary Cascade. I have two of them. So go over to the tweet in chat. Give me your best uh, transmog for Assassin's Creed. And then uh, re retweet it with the uh, tag uh, weep into the light or something like that. It's in the tweet. And then uh, I pick, I'm going to pick my two favorite transmogs and you guys are going to get the binary cascade emblem, which is one of the rarest emblems in the game. So. He pronounces it like German players pronounce the Titan exotic Sightens. Yeah, or the, is it is it Titans or is it Sightens? Or is it Cheatins? Do we have to buy the Assassin's Creed armor? Absolutely not. Nope. Just look like a cool assassin, you know? And I'm just going to pick my two favorite. Uh, and we're going to pick sometime tomorrow. Still raising money for the kids? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, shit. I, um, I actually totally forgot that I didn't have it even up. Let me pull it up. Sorry, the last couple of streams, I haven't had it up for different reasons. And um, I just totally forgot today. Yo, Kel, going to help my friend transfer CP? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, we are almost at $8,400 raised. Let me, um, actually here. Here. There we go. Yeah, almost at $8,400 raised, which is insane. And they just added a new incentive today. So not only do you get the exotic sparrow and the exotic ghost and the two emblems, you actually get an old exotic ghost as well, uh, which is one of my favorite ghosts ever, always. Like, I, I pr am I running it on this guy? Yeah, I, I'm literally running it. That was not planned. I always run this ghost on at least one of my characters uh, because I love, I love it. It's called, like, the Gilded Shell, I think. And so if you donate 60 for the one ghost shell, you actually get both ghost shells. Um, which is sick. It's such a cool one. So if you haven't donated and you want to help the little lights uh, and you want uh, a sick exclusive exotic sparrow, two exotic ghost shells and two exclusive emblems, uh, make sure to type exclamation point G2G in chat or click the pinned link at the top of chat. So very cool. I love this shell. I think it's so cool because it's just the way it moves like that. Oh, man. One of my favorite ghost shells in the, in the entire game. Very cool. Now their big lights can look after him. Uh, not in a lot of unfortunately modernized healthcare systems. Um, so. Cheers to that. Does it look like a specific character in Assassin's Creed? Nope. If you want to theme it after a character, go ahead. But it's just any Assassin's Creed themes. Uh, you know, if you look like an assassin, you know, I'll consider it. I, a lot of people, so look, I'll show you what a lot of people have been doing. Um, a lot of people have been... like giving me references so like this guy uh winter oh this is call me bungee he said look he wanted his guy to look like this so he made his hunter look like this like if you want to do something like that um because i'm not super familiar with the like someone did heimdall uh from valhalla although that's the marvel heimdall but what's enough um this guy did uh the a girl character from uh the new one from valhalla as well so just like shit like that really cool 
So yeah, if you want to give me a reference, you can. You don't have to. Um, I have two emblems. I'm going to pick the, the coolest two uh, transmogs, and we're going to go from that, man. Oh, Adam, dude, that's such an L take, dog. Holy shit. Holy. Uh, is there a bug with the Dead Eye Guild? Yes, yes, you actually, so the, the ones that are like seasonal weapons, you actually have to use um, a grenade launcher. It's bugged, it's like last season's. I'm gonna make a short about that tomorrow. Um, but yes, it is bugged. I mean, it doesn't have to be the truth, though, right? Like, it's only the truth if everyone is like, uh, doesn't have any empathy, is not compassionate, is just an asshole. Like, you can't you can't say a choice is the, an objective truth because it's it's not the objective truth. I just soloed the new dungeon, but I forgot that I crashed and it didn't. Oh no, it didn't give you the triumph. Oh fuck, dude. Well, hey, you did it once, man. You can do it again. You got this. What you do? What character did you do it on? He for gore. Oh no! It is kind of. So the thing is, is like I, I, I get why Bungie makes you do it in one go, but it's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that Bungie makes you do it in one go. You know. Like, I get why they do it, but it's also like, shit, dude. I know so many people probably get screwed over by that shit, and I feel bad about it, you know? Just sucks. But I get it once again, so. Oh, did I not have combination up? Yo, David, what's up, man? True, David. We were like, we were actually just talking about something like super like adjacent to that. It's really odd that you come in at that and just didn't drop that like that. But true, also true. Um, I got killed by architects when I was solo prophesying on the final boss. Oh no! I can't imagine doing it on anything other than a warlock, but that's because they're really good for solo stuff. It's always like so, especially in, like with the final boss. If you're on a hunter or a titan, you have to like jump. You have to like dodge his attacks. You have to be backpedaling when you're doing damage, and with a well. You can just sit there and you know, it's just so much easier. And so that's why like on my tips, I was like, you can always just do it on anything. That's how it's designed. But if you want just like complete ease of use, uh, Warlock is just the way to go, man. And it, it might not be like everyone's favorite and maybe like a, a an individual person might not think it's necessarily the easiest or whatever. But for the most amount of people, Warlock is going to be like the play, right? And um, I always feel like people get really offended when I say that, but it's just like, dude, Warlock is like crutch mode, you know? And that's coming from a guy who plays 90% of his time on Warlock. Like, Warlock is, a lot of shit is just so easy on Warlock. They have all the movement, they have all the, the crutch heal and like, oh shit, like panic abilities and shit. BCP guys, a strap free weapon XP? Dude, true, actually. Maybe I'll put on something. Do I have any weapons that I've been wanting to level in my primary slot? I don't think so. All 
I honestly feel like they're gonna nerf well, dude. They should have nerfed well like 10 years ago, man. <laughs> it's fun, like, it is what it is, but sheesh. I really like the song Holy Ghost Spirit. Oh, yes. Dude, I mean, that entire album is just a banger, dog. Is there a max on essences? It looks like it might be 9,999. But we are unsure if it like go like does another uh, stack. I don't know. I was proud to solo false duality on Hunter with how classy restoration. There you go, man. Yeah. So like my, if you ask me like what my main is, I mean my truest answer is like I don't really necessarily like I'm not super devoted to one class. If I have to pick a class, traditionally I've picked Hunter because that was my first, like in Destiny 1, when I first started playing the game, I had three Hunters for like a very short amount of time. And then I deleted two of my Hunters and I made a Titan and Warlock. And those are still the characters, you know, I have to this day. Um, oh shit, one of them disappeared. That's not good. Um, but uh, honestly, I mean, like a solid three fourths of my time is spent on Warlock nowadays because mostly for the movement well skating and like just everything you can do on warlock is just so easy and uh because of that i just kind of like it's like no matter what i'm doing oh i know i can just do it on warlock so that's why i do it you've never equipped classy restoration dude what what also who's your raid team for lightfall it will be um at least right now, I'm under the assumption it will be exactly the same as our vow of the disciple. Um, so it's it's going to be our vault of glass team, but Jordan is on deployment, so Coops is gonna is his uh, is his sub in. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it's uh we're we're going hard this time, and I've been talking with my. I've been talking with my clan mates about it, and we've always had like a really strict, like go in spoiler free type. Or I, I, yeah, okay, maybe that's the wrong way to put it. We're not, we're not looking at like data mines or anything. Like that. Um, but it's always been like when you're when we're in the when we're in the encounters, it, no advice. Don't look at like what other people are doing. Um, try to ignore chat. You know, tell chat, hey, no spoilers or anything. Um, but it, it has come to my attention. I don't know why I never thought about this, but it's come to my attention that most of, if not all of the teams that are competitive for Worlds First tend to have like a coach that will go around and, you know, check on mechanics and stuff um, from other streams. And I, I don't know why I've never really considered that being a thing, but that makes total sense. Um, and so if, if we really want to be truly competitive, which I do, uh, I think this time around, we're going to try to find uh, someone like that for us. Um, so we have a coach for life all. There you go, dude. Um, we've never done it. I've, I've never we've I, I didn't even think about it because it's always been for me, like part of the world's first race is figuring out the mechanics first. Um. And it's just, it's just never really occurred to me that like, yeah, I, I, hey, having someone to like spy on the other teams is like probably really beneficial. So, um, that is, uh, that's kind of our game plan. So right now we're, we're trying to kind of decide who would be a good person for that. The unfortunate thing is, is, oh shit, I should not have done that. The unfortunate thing, well, kind of unfortunate, but uh, because of like the types of players we are and who we play with like most of our friends will be like in the raid also racing for good placements or trying to get to day one um so we haven't really decided who is going to do that for us but um or we haven't really even asked around yet but it's something that i've been i've been really considering and uh, oh shoot um just yeah like i said something that i didn't really consider it literally was like we were running like King's Fall like a couple weeks after it launched and I was talking about it and I was like, dude, how do they figure out mechanics so quickly? And I think Hoon was like, oh, they have a really good like coach. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, they have like someone go around in chats and, you know, look what's going on. And I was like, excuse what? That's not cheating? 
I, I, but it makes sense. Like it's like it's it's resourcefulness because the the uh, the objective is just to finish first, right? So. You think we'll get another returning raid next year? Yeah, yeah. Warning mechanics is part of participating in World Source, not part of winning World Source. Yeah, uh, we ended up getting in the 60s in the dungeon, but it's like that sounds a lot worse than it is. Check this out. So, so check this out. So we got in the 60s, and by the way, we beat Chemo and them. Um, by seven seconds, which is fucking absurd. But look, if you look at all the times, if we would have finished uh, 10 seconds faster, we would have been five spots up. If we would have finished a minute faster, so 5149, we would have been 20 spots up. So like, we were literally like minutes up, you know? Uh, so I, we did really well. I'm, I'm really happy of where we placed compared to, to everyone else. This was probably like one of the, the, the tightest um, group finishes I've ever seen. It's kind of nuts how many people just sped through it. Probably indicative of how easy the mechanics really were in this dungeon, but still, uh, great time, great time. Uh, no, we have never won a day one. We have placed 15th twice uh, on Vogue and uh, King's Wall. We were 15th both times. And then we um, we placed 9th in regular Vault of Glass. 15th in Challenge. Uh, so 9th is probably like our best placement, if you will. Um, but uh, I really want like a, I want a proper top 10 finish. So like it was... It was like ninth, but it was normal. It wasn't challenge mode. Uh, I want, I want like a real top ten finish. Is uh, is like, obviously, I want worlds first. But in, in terms of like, I think what is a really obtainable goal for this next raid, uh, I want a top ten. That's what I want. We finished three about three minutes after y'all. It's 123. Yeah, see, like it was such a close race this time. Do you think uh, there would be there would be ever a way they made a King's Fall jacket? It's really sad they didn't. No, I don't think uh, if they didn't make it the week it launched, I do not think they have any plans to. Which I I'm also really bummed about because uh, uh, the raid jackets are like my favorite thing that Bungie does. So in terms of like Bungie rewards. So. Yo, Ultra, how you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. My team win number was 1800-ish. You could say we're top tier. Hey, uh, you finished day one. You figured shit out. I think that in itself is like, that's phenomenal, you know? So... Uh, the coach also can see all six vantage points and have an unbiased third party to let them know what they're doing wrong. Yeah. Um, so. I think, um, do we DM? No, reply to the tweet. Reply to the tweet. But... Yeah, so I'm sad about Valve placement, but my only goal from now on is top 100, prefer top 50. There you go. Yeah, as long as you have a number on Raid Report, I think that's super, super impressive. Um, but we've gotten so close. Before. Like, I know our team's balling, so it's like, I know we can do it. Oh, sheesh.
Damn. What a flinch. Hell yeah, Jonathan. Sick. Yo, Trish, what's up? How you doing? Yes, I did pre-tapes. Isn't that insane? That's pretty cool. I uh, just died on the final boss DPS face for Spire Foot Soul Foss. Oh, rip, man. Hey, run it back. You got it, though. If you made it that far, you can easily do it again. Yep. Yeah, if you're using a crafted gun, you do, shrimp. What did boons give you, by the way, chat? I don't think anyone ever answered. Gr grants a dawning reward to your playlist? Is that like a gift or what? Any tips for finding a raid world's first team? Uh, it's honestly like... It's, so, it's such a hard thing, right? Like, I, that's like the pinnacle thing in Destiny is like racing for World's First or, or day one team, right? And so it's a hard thing to do. It's not, there's no, if there was like a how to for dummies guide, you know, uh, hey, Rick Kakis would have made it already for sure. And uh, it's just, it's not that easy. You just, you have to be lucky enough to find a bunch of gamers you, you mesh with really well and that uh, have, oh shit, I'm gonna die and have the same mentality as you going for the, uh, for a, a good placement. I don't, I don't think I have the firepower to one phase this by myself. No, I for sure don't. No shot. Here, I'm just gonna, oh, you fucking killed me, dude. Oh God. You stepped on the thing, shrimp. Oh, there it is. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing, yes. Oh, I don't have any ammo for these nerds. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. A crafted callus mini tool, I would put here, I'll pull mine here in a second. Um incandescence is a is a shoe in. Oh, it's already on my guy. I didn't even see it. Unrelenting uh incandescent is what I would put on it. They need to buff the ammo finder mods. Ammo finder mods work on a strict like schedule. So if you, they, it, it's a it's complex and it's a little bit more complex than I'm saying, but essentially with finder mods, you are guaranteed to get heavy in X amount of kills based off of what types of weapons you have equipped or uh, what you get kills with. Um, there's a couple other factors as well that we don't. 100% uh, understand, I, I don't believe, but um, if you find that your finders are not consistent enough, it means that you're not getting enough kills. So it's a little bit of a self-report, but you know what? It's a learning experience, so that's all right. Oh, fuck. Yeah, running exotic primary helps ammo finders a ton. Um, I believe I've heard that. And then double special is like, if you really want to force a lot of heavy ammo, running double special is the way to do it. 
One thing I've noticed is my finders make my linears get only one ammo on brick for some reason. The, that has to do with scavs. Um, well, okay. So there are two types of ammo bricks in the game. There are the dark ones, which are full ammo bricks. And then there are bright ones. Uh, if you find a bright ammo brick, that is a finder brick. And yes, it gives you about half the ammo. Uh, there's It could be less than that, but um, about half the ammo. Um, so that's why that happens. Linear scav has been bugged, and I don't know if it's fixed yet. I assume it is because it's been like a season and a half, but uh, I don't know. I, it might it might not be fixed yet. I honestly have no idea. You think it works? Okay, okay. It was definitely bugged when we were doing low man challenges for King's Fall. Are you farming this? We're holding a checkpoint. Same way you farm everything. God damn! 10 per cookie, right? Dude, I say we just get a billion essence and never fucking worry about it again. Oh yeah, baby! Get this trash stay frosty out of here, dude. I love this new shader, by the way. Take that. Are those arc? Oh, with solar weapons or abilities, stasis weapons or abilities. It's So I'll finally help me get my dawning weapon kills. Yeah, the save for Aussie it actually looks pretty good. I like that it can get a Despacito on it. Um, I'm not really sure what it's like in PvP, but I, I am excited to try it out. Definitely not fixed. Ammo drops uh, more often without ammo finders. That's not what was broken about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. The finders weren't broken. The linear scav was broken. The finders are definitely not broken. Um, the linear scavenger for, for linear fusion rifles was just not giving you more ammo on pickup. That's what was broken. Uh, yeah, I might be getting Umbral Energy because I got the upgrade. I don't fucking know. I don't remember what upgrade I bought, to be completely honest. Think it could be an error with the crafted linears? Oh, me? I don't know. No, because I think it was happening with Reed's Regret as well. Once again, I, I haven't tested this since uh, we were doing King's Fall Lomance, and that was like forever ago. It was like mid -la early last season, so... Look, that shit could be way fixed by now. Why am I not getting finite thought times three? What, what finite thought times three? The fuck is happening?
cold front is ass now it's really funny you say that because fallout literally hated cold front before and now he's like yeah it's pretty good yo merv what's up man What am I supposed to? Gambit or Crucible matches. Void. Heirs of Eternity. Fourteen out of two thousand. Hell yeah. Oh no, this doesn't seem so bad. I keep only getting times two. I've got a good glacier clasm. Any reason to farm a new one? I don't know what the new perks look like. No idea. SMG with Cascade Point? No, that's sick. Cascade Point seems like a really interesting perk. Have you noticed a lot of people dropping off the game and why? Uh, I've noticed a lot of people complaining about it. <laughs> that's all I've got. I don't really monitor stuff like that, to be honest. to start just getting uh kills with this here it's only like a couple kills to run but better than nothing and it's progress god damn shrimp getting bullied man essence you have so far uh 722 i mean you get like 20 every couple of minutes here this is a really good farm your own world activities for the seal are gonna be a yikes how much is it quit turning them around or i'll cry what the what the Legend Lock Sector is five, so just do 20 of them. Sheesh, that's so many. It'll be fine, whatever. That is correct, Jinx. Hey, we'll just spend some time in the throne world. It'll be fine. We'll have fun. We'll have fun. We'll make friends along the way. It'll be a great time. It'll be a great time. It's really not that big of a deal. It is what it is. 
give me time to, uh... Are there snowballs in the throne world? Give me time to get some kills with, uh, dawning weapons as well. Oh, he's gonna kill me! Sheesh! Toxic, bro. Around events? Fuck yeah. So I'll get snowball kills there. Hey, I'm happy with it. Whatever. I only got one time this time. Easy. Took me 12 hours to guild the Star Baker. You have to see anyone else with the title. Uh, so like, it took Chemo and them like only a couple of hours. Like they killed it. There's definitely a couple people on my friends list with it. I think uh, Lab has it actually. Hopefully Lightfall isn't another Witch Queen. Why the fuck not? What does that even mean? Oh, I was, it doesn't wear titles. He's too cool for titles. Took me 11 uh, hours totals. Titles look like ass? What the fuck? Titles look sick, bro. <laughs> no, I take, I want another Beyond Light. Take away all of our shit. True. Who in the world? What the, if you don't want this expansion to be a witch queen, what the fuck do you want it to be? Main antagonist died to a thunder crash? My brother in Christ, you're playing a fucking campaign. Of course it did. There literally hasn't been a campaign in Destiny War that wasn't the case. And actually, not to go all actually on you, fucking Sabathun in the Legend campaign at least was the hardest campaign boss we've had yet by like a lot. So I come again. My brother in Christ, what the fuck are you talking about? A Taken King? Bro, you want to talk about a boss falling over? Are you serious? Taken King was not only a worse campaign, it was a much worse campaign. It was a much worse DLC as a whole. And uh, the orc sucks. <laughs> Bro, this is wild. You're capping? No, I actually played the game back then. That's the difference. <laughs> Dude. Only good thing about Witch Queen was the campaign, the raid. I mean, Vow, I think, didn't it didn't age as well as I think I thought it would have, but it's still in my top half of raids easily. Still a pretty good raid. Just for like aesthetics alone. Vow is S plus here without barge. I agree. I agree. I that's literally the reason it didn't age as well. Is because of, of the fucking the barge thing. 100 percent D2 players complain about which queen campaign and literally say taking kings better in the same breath. Yes. Uh what about Borgong, by the way? The best thing we've ever gotten in any DLC ever? Taking King was your best favorite DLC? Dude, I'm sorry. Holy shit. My man lost taste like eight, seven years ago. That's wild. Regicide was fire. Dude, Regicide was trash. <laughs> kind of overrated, though. The reveal of Orcs was sick, but other than that, it was just like run through the Dreadnought. Whatever, dude. Nah, it was, uh, Taking King was fine. But the fact that there's no way, 
There's no way anyone would say taking King's Bear was weak. You're fucking crazy. I can even act like I know who Borgong is. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Dude. That's wild, actually. If Haunted had a better gameplay loop, then Witch Queen would have been perfect. Haunted was not part of the Witch Queen season. Risen was part of the Witch Queen season. And I actually liked Risen. Favorite? Was it my favorite this year? Nah, probably not. Mostly because I don't really like Crow that much. I mean, he's fine. It's not like I dislike Crow, it's just I just don't like him that much, you know? Dude, I like, also, at least Witch Queen had a season, you know? Takey King was like, here's a couple of strikes, and then it was like, here's some exotic swords, and then it was like, here's the, like one of the worst, two worst raids in Destiny 1. And then it was like, all right, see you guys in a year. And that was Taken King, dog. Destiny 1 was so unbalanced that it was fun. Yeah, dog. I want to see your Twitter account during the stasis meta. I would like, I would like to see, give me your, give me your Twitter account right now. Give me your at, and I'm going to scroll all the way fucking back to stasis and we'll see how fun you thought unbalanced was. We'll see how, here's some strike exclusive loot. Technically, technically Destiny 2 does have strike specifically. It's just exclusive to the playlist. <laughs> I know what you mean, but also your wording was bad. But I, I do agree. That shit needs to come back. But dude, two pieces of armor from the two strikes that came with Taken King. Don't make that DLC and the, and the PlayStation exclusive. Do not make that DLC better than Witch Queen, dude. You're on fucking Cobium. Uh, Pocket Infinity would be cool, but it's just kind of like merciless now, so like... I love how you were willing to shit on the past even though people appreciated the expansion at the time. Well, so there's a difference between ex appreciating the expansion at the time and literally like stroking yourself off on stream, remembering the good old days. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a huge difference there, okay? I just like to keep nostalgia, nostalgia nerds in check. Cause I, there's nothing, there are two things I hate in this world. Uh, just unfettered hate towards something that doesn't really deserve it. Uh, about, de about video games. There's a lot of things I hate in this world. There's a lot of things I hate in this world, but about like Destiny specifically, like unfettered hate, un unreasonable hate towards something. And then when that hate is fueled by a nostalgia boner that makes literally zero sense. Oh, fuck me, dude. That literally, that makes me lactate blood. Let me tell you, holy shit. Let me fucking tell you, dude. That's having a bad time. This essence farm was better in Destiny 1. The only thing that was better in Destiny 1 was Gambit. That's it. Okay? Everyone else, you're on Copium.
That makes me mad. Lactate blood is the worst sentence I've heard this month. Yes. <laughs> Dude, it's your fault, chat. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. You don't want me saying I'm lactating blood. Don't make me lactate blood. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be lactate, would it? It would be, it'd be, uh, 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 what's like the, the, what's the prefix for having to do with blood? Uh, I, it would be like, he mates. <laughs> You're making me he mate. <laughs> oh god damn. No cod raid? Wait, what is that? What is this nonsense? People have been telling me about this. What is it? What are your thoughts on Kate 6? Uh, is he's fine? About to he mate. Yeah, dude. True. Best place to farm snowball kills? I don't have a single one. Gambit was great when it was on balance. Gambit was great when it didn't exist. Yes, my favorite part about taking King was uh, before the final boss, how you had to go to the Bungie website and read all the lore to understand what the fuck was going on. D taking King definitely had a better narrative than anything in Destiny 2. For sure, dog. The game of Memento is so nice, bruh. It's not nicer than the feeling I get when I imagine a world without Gambit. <laughs> Bro, when I asked my stepdad what Destiny 1 was about, he just responded, I don't know, and then continued to play. <laughs> yeah, for real. It seems like I'm the only one that's willing to appreciate the past, flaws and all. Dude, you're out of your- you are actually- This man just said he's the only person that likes Destiny 1. Are you crazy, bro? Have you ever been on Twitter or Reddit or my comment section or my mom's house or literally anywhere? Everyone has a hard-on for Destiny 1. Literally every- Destiny 1 was literally trending worldwide today because people have such a hard-on for it, dog. You're crazy. Because correction helps us in the long run. Taking King essentially was a massive correction to a massive flaw. Yeah, but that doesn't make it better. This is like when people are like, oh, Vogue was the best because it was the first raid. Rarely the first to do something is the best to do something. Rarely the thing that fixes something is the full fix to something. Holy dog. Scarrow's mom's house is filled with Taken King fans, dude. True. <laughs> Destiny 2 is clearly better, but I think you undervalue Taken King will die on that hill. Let's just say, I respect what Taken King did for the franchise, and I would not have a hobby right now if Taken King did not exist. But you can have a mutual respect for something and understanding of what it did without calling it one of the best things that ever happened to Destiny because it is clearly inferior to, to most things that happen in the game. 100%. And in, in, in quality, in quantity, in fucking, like, droughts, like, literally everything. Yeah, your mom said she liked Destiny 1 Vogue better. Yeah, I, my mom's a fucking idiot. Any new information on Lightfall? Uh, since when? There's the trailer last week. Taking King was the best thing since sliced bread. I mean, even if you say it like that, like if Taking King was, was the best thing since sliced bread, there are now better things. Saying, if I'm say if I say Lightfall, is better, or let's, Witch Queen was a better campaign experience, was a better full DLC experience than Taking King. That is a comparative statement. I'm comparing two things from my subjective point of view. That says nothing about how good Witch Queen is or how bad Taking King is. Right? People have this tendency to say like, oh, 
shit, dude, you like this better. Why do you hate this? I don't necessarily hate it. I hate <laughs> I hate when people uh, just like are unrelentless or no unrelentless when they are relentless in their um, in their in their blind love for the Taken King. That's what I hate. Taken King was fine. It was it was mid compared to what we get today. At the time, it was revolutionary. Sure, whatever, whatever the fuck you want to say. Wasn't exactly a, a Taken King was better than Vanilla Destiny Two. That's not exactly a high bar to cross, you know. Taken King seemed a lot better at the time because take because Vanilla and first year of Destiny One was so ass. Oh, that's me. Taken King legit had more than Wish Queen? No, it didn't. No, it literally didn't. If you met, if you like, if you're like, okay, it had two strikes. Well, okay, Wish Queen had two strikes, shit. I didn't mean that. If you're like, oh, Taken King had 26 exotics and Witch Queen only had 14 or whatever. Sure, if you want to count them out like pixels. But Witch Queen did not, or Taken King did not have more playable content than Wish Queen in terms of like separate activities, loops to do, uh, actual systems in the game. That's just copium. You could say the same for Forsaken and Destiny 2. I literally have said the same thing about Forsaken and Destiny 2. Which queen had the two worst strikes in the game? No. No. I'm not a big fan of... Um, of... It's not even that I'm not even a big fan of it. Well, I really don't like the boss fight. Of the... I don't even know what the fuck it's called. The uh, the blight one. <laughs> Shit. The ta the city one? The, 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 the scorn one? Not a really big fan of that, but um, Light Blade is a fun strike. It's just too long. But also, the worst strike is Corrupted, though. Grinding Red Borders and Taking King was my favorite, dude. That was actually probably one thing I do miss about Witch Queen was when crafting was brand new and it didn't oh shit I, I let go of the wrong button when crafting was brand new and i i didn't really have all the problems i have with it right now that was it that was a blissful time uh what matters to you the most the amount of content or the quality of the content literally both yes 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 and uh coops and maybe, maybe this is a distinction that other people make that I do not make. Um, so if you, okay, maybe if you, uh, I quantify like Witch Queen as like the, the season that we were playing like Witch Queen stuff. So in my head, I'm always going to include, I'm always going to include the seasonal content with that expansion release. I will always count Hunt as being part of Beyond Light. I will always count Undying as being part of Shadowkeep. Because while people say they can uncouple those things, I do not believe anyone. And maybe that's a me thing because I have trouble uncoupling those things. But when you're playing these activities at the same time, the loot and enjoyment of one activity is going to directly play into how you see the other activities. And so, uh, you, even, so let's say like the dungeon, right? Like Spire of the Watcher is technically not part of uh, Season of the Seraph. But it, it is, though, you know, it's like most people that are going to be in these forums that are going to be having these discussions have played both of them. The loot that I get from Spire the Watcher and, you know, the enjoyment that I got from these weeks playing Spire the Watcher directly influenced my time playing Season of the Seraph. That's just how it always works. And so it is... Um, I, people, you know, can say, like, oh, objectively, like, I'm fucking the launch of Witch Queen, blah, 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 blah. Sure. But... There's no way that includes Season of the Risen. And I just don't, I just straight up do not believe people can effectively decouple the, the experiences of, say, Season of the Risen from their experience with Witch Queen because they were happening simultaneously. Like now with Dawning Along the Season. Yes, I count seasonal events too. I, to I totally do. It's very similar to, you know, um, something like SRL in fucking Taking King. Like people have very fond memories of that period of the game and i would include srl as being part of uh, or at least like you know the launch of srl as being part of the taking king experience because it directly influenced how you were interacting with the game at that time so for me expansions i guess are more of a a time frame
Wait, where's Lab at? Lab died? So if that's the case, then wouldn't the game fixes also come into account when recalling what expansions did for the game? Yeah, sure. Yeah, totally. I would say like, for instance, uh, you, you know, in Taking King, were there any game changing updates? I can't actually even remember. Um, they got rid of re-rolling, I think, from House of Wolves. I don't remember anything big, but for instance, like Forsaken, I give Forsaken a lot of points uh, for the triumph system. I always will. Most people don't think about that, but I do. Uh, Witch Queen had crafting, which at, during that time frame felt pretty good, at least in my opinion, is now overbearing. They're overdoing it. And I think those, you know, my experiences with those. So for instance, like, okay, yeah, last season Plunder, I think two huge negatives on season of the Plunder were the crafting system and the triumphs that came with Plunder. And I will absolutely knock off points for that, even though some people might choose not to interact with those systems. I do. And that was part of my enjoyment or lack thereof for last season, 100%. Infusion came in game for Taken King. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I mean, that was a good, I think. Was it? Didn't House of Wolves have some form of, uh... Oh no, it didn't have Infusion, but you could like spend, couldn't you spend like Ascendant Materials or whatever to upgrade things or something like that? It was like an early version. Maybe I'm mem remembering it wrong. Yeah, maybe I'm remembering Etheric Light and I'm just getting my time frames wrong. And so, okay, and that's like another reason, like I always rank Rise of Iron really high because while the base expansion itself was, you know, uh, kind of lacking, during that period of time, we had Age of Triumph. And I think that was a huge, and there's arguments to be made there. Like, should you count Age of Triumph as its own thing in the game? Um, do we count the 30th anniversary as being part of Season of the Lost or is it its own mini season? Uh, there are all sorts of semantics you could argue with, but I just kind of go with like the generally accepted things, you know? Like generally Rise of Iron is considered to be, at least in my experience, generally uh, is considered to be a very large part of Rise of Iron. The farmable raids in Arrivals um, are, you know, like a similar-ish thing, are considered to be part of that. Uh, although those did launch at the same time, so that's a little bit more understandable. Wait, did they? No, they didn't launch at the same time, did they? They launched with... Wait, did it? I actually don't remember if the farmable raids were later into Arrivals or not. Uh, House of Wolves had a Theric Light thing just to boost everything to 34. Yeah, that's what I, I thought it did. I thought it did. And that's that was kind of infusion, right? Would you say Destiny 2 is Sony's version of Halo on the PlayStation? I don't even know what that question means, my dude. I mean, Halo is... I don't know what that question means. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what you want out of that question. They launched with Solstice? Yeah, there you go. So, but I do include, you know, farmable raids as being part of kind of the, because it was part of the ecosystem or the, uh, the loop, the main thing, the main attraction there. I just think it's so unfair. Look, it, Bungie's marketing or, or, or individualistic package pricing, I don't like it. No one likes it. No one likes having to buy dungeons separately. Um, I get why they do it. I understand the business stuff behind it, but no one likes it. In a perfect world, we wouldn't have to pay extra. It would all either be included or blah, 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 or whatever, what have you, okay? Um, but the reality is, is that like these seasons play a really, or the, like the dungeons do play a really big part into how people enjoy the season. People will always remember parts of Plunder. Oh yeah, let's use Splicer for an example, because Plunder, Plunder kind of flopped, right? Uh, it was at a bad time in the community. But for instance, people will always remember Season of the Splicer more fondly because Vault of Glass came out. Like that, it is just inseparable. And especially when you have so many like nostalgia nerds in the community, there's no, if, if people can come into my chat and say Taken King was the best expansion ever, there's zero shot. I believe any single person that says that can decouple their experience from Vault of Glass from Season of the Splicer. I just don't believe it. I don't think people have like, I don't know if it's like emotional maturity or like the, the hindsight or whatever you want to call it, 
I just don't think people can do it effectively. Just like straight up. I'm like, I'll quote me as saying that. I do not think most people can say, oh, I enjoyed Vault of Glass as much and I enjoyed Season of the Splicer this much. And even though they happened at the same time, I, I enjoyed them uh, uh, completely uncoupled from each other. I just don't think people can do that. Good one, Vogg and Splicer both suck. Dude, you're going to get murdered. You're actually going to get murdered. Don't say that in a public chat, man. People are going to kill you. Dude, it's just one of those things. Season of the Seraph is honestly a banger so far. I see. I, the thing is, is uh, this is another thing that kind of worries me is I, I've been really enjoying it too, but you know, people see things like the garden boss. And even though it's that sort of things literally happened throughout the lifespan of Destiny 2, because people are kind of at a point where they're fed up with the game, it's going to affect them more and they're going to be more vocal about it. And when the community is more vocal about something that they see as negative, then the entire player experience is also negative. There's Destiny is a community game. And if a lot of the content creators are feeling negative and they're making negative videos and blah, 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 then the community is going to feel negative and there's going to be more complaining. And then all around, it's just going to be like a negative experience. And so I, I, I am also really enjoying Season of the Seraph, but I, I know, oh, fuck, I know come the end of the season, people are going to be ranking this shit really low. And it's just because you're going to have so many of these things that are built up. You have like the, the, oh, shrimp, thanks. You have like the, the Mars patrol zone returning in the battlegrounds. Um, uh, you have things like, and, and it's like, and, and you know, Bungie tries to explain these things away with like lore stuff. But, uh, you know, then we see with like, and no hate to him, love salt. But you see like salt, you know, talking about how like it doesn't make any sense. And Bungie obviously did their best to try to explain it, but it is pretty hand wavy. Um, and so, like, it, it, every event usually has, like, one person who's, like, the, the head of, like, something happening, right? And so, like, the Garden of Salvation rework, um, there were definitely a couple of content creators that were, like, front and center with that, that were kind of driving that fire and making noises. I've done it before I, with, the, with the secrets, with the secret bait last season. With DMG putting out the patch notes, I was definitely like the guy being negative at the forefront. That was like, how are you baiting us with these secrets when we've been begging for secrets? I, I saw, so I'm definitely not like, it's just how it works. And you always have like one center person and everyone rallies behind that and everyone's really frustrated and that makes everyone have a worse time. And I, that's just like how, that's what's gonna happen this season. I just know it because it's just like one thing on top of another. It's, it's just going to happen, man. Secret rant equal no touch or bow. Oh, you think Bungie's punishing me? Oh, shit, dude. So, look, it is what it is. But I think, yeah, I, uh, I've i been really enjoying the season. I didn't even mind last season that much. Like, I, I it definitely had its moments. I loved King's Fall. Catch Crash was a baller activity. Uh, and the story kind of fell flat. You know, we've talked about this. The community event fell very flat. We've talked about all these things. Um, but I think, I think you know, people were calling like, people were, okay, like this was, this is another one. I'll just give an example. And once again, I'm not, I'm not calling out any of these people to hate on them or anything, but I think they're just really good examples of what I'm talking about. You had Mactix um, say like, he was like, season of the plunder is the worst time in Destiny history. And I, I, and a lot of people were rallying behind that. And I noticed the sentiment was kind of like echoing his sentiment. Like a lot of people were, you know, saying that even though there's no way in hell, any like rational, like rationally thinking person would ever think, at least in my opinion, would ever think that like season of the plunder was worse than like curse of Osiris or especially the taking King content drought. Um, there's just no way. I just, I refuse to believe that anyone would think that, uh, at least like, you know, from a, I don't know. It's just, it's just a weird thing. Um, and so what my point is, is like, you always have these leaders and people kind of rally behind this opinion and they echo this opinion. And it's usually a negative one. And then that kind of, that makes everyone feel worse. And then there's another negative opinion and it all just kind of weighs you down uh, over the seasons. And it makes, I think the entire community feel worse about the season as a whole. And uh, 
so my, my point being, yeah, I think Season of the Seraph has started off really strong, and I really like the story, and I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, I would be very surprised if that is uh, the community sen sentiment in a month, you know? So we'll see, we'll see. Fallout Place is a hot guy, yes. Fallout can have my children, for sure. Can you make this on a hunter? No. What did you play or used to play back before uh, Destiny 1? Uh, lots of Call of Duty Zombies, Borderlands, like this, a lot of the stuff I play now. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? Oh, are you just adding? Are you just adding three zeros? Are you at a thousand twenty two essence? It's a super good farm. And yo, shrimp in lab, uh, if you guys get tired of this and don't want to do it anymore or anything, just let me know. Um, it's, uh, I'm just vibing, but you know, if you if you guys decide you have something better to do, just, just let me know. Yo, see ya, Steven. Thanks for hanging out, man. These guys are cheating. Nothing like coming out for to see Mr. Scare and I play Destiny. Time to relax. Hell yeah, Dennis. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good night, man. Oh, I just got a message. Oh, no. Nah, you're not going to get banned, dude. I don't ban people for weird opinions. God damn, I just got ratioed so hard. Sheesh! Dude, we haven't seen Caleb in a while. Someone needs to check out my man. God damn it. Oh, please die. Oh, who left? How much else did you want to go for? Yeah, like, I, I'm just kind of vibing, man. I don't, I'm not, I don't really have a, um, like a preference. Like if, if you, either of you two get sick of this, just let me know and I'll just go farm like Throne World activities or whatever. I just plan on getting a lot of um, Bright Dust. So I'm just kind of vibing, you know? Yo, James, what's up, man? Uh, do you know a good solo farm for Essence? Uh, Lost Sectors, I think, are pretty good. Stuff like that. I don't know. The Norm? LFG? Yeah, I'll ban you if you like Skillet. That's right. What are we wanting to get from the dawning gifts? Mostly just bright dust. I know that doesn't really come from the dawning gifts, but. Uh, what do we think the Whitefall soundtrack is going to be like? Good. 
What happened to turtles? Uh, I don't really play with the locks guys much anymore, unfortunately. I'm sure they're still kicking around. Your brain is dissolving. Just let me know when you want to stop, Shrimp. <laughs> I'm alright. Currently have COVID, which is that? But it's whatever. Oh shit, dude! First time. Since I'm the hyper outlier, why do people hate Curse of Osiris? Uh, so static loot rolls, double primaries, minimal content, and like a four month drop. That's pretty much everything. So not a lot of content to play, nothing to farm other than Segura's shell. Uh, it was just a boring time. It was it was it was a time where Destiny was not a looter shooter, and it was being advertised as a looter shooter. You have yet to get COVID, thankfully. Well, I mean, that you know of, to be fair. Just saying. Not wishing anything on you, but... I did read a report that was like, uh... Upwards of 95% of people have... Uh, or no, I think it was actually like 85% of people have probably had COVID. It was like most people who think they haven't had COVID have had COVID. It's like, oh shit. Home test came back negative. Yeah. You've got asthma, you think you notice? I mean, maybe. Maybe, dude, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. I'm also not your mom, I have no idea. That's right, Shrimp's got it. Shrimp says, dude, we're all infected already, you turn if you die. It's a Walking Dead reference, and that's right. Ah, oh, went through his armpit hole. But you're a scientist, aren't you? Yeah, so one thing about being a scientist is realizing, like, I'd say, like, arguably the most important thing about grad school is learning, not, you know, not learning something. It's learning what you don't know. And so, like, the first people in this world that should tell you, hey, I don't know this thing, are, are experts in other fields. Uh... And so, well, yes, I, I am less than half a year away. I, I'm three months away from my PhD in polymer chemistry. I'm not afraid to say I'm not a doctor, you know? I can comprehend science, scientific writing, but I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to know medicine, you know? Um, and uh, it would be very irresponsible for me in a scientific sense to even pretend that I did. What's the best show ever? Uh, my favorite show ever is probably the early days of The Walking Dead. I'm trying to think. I really like The Boys, though. The Boys fucking slaps. You're a scientist. Could you explain how fusion reactors work? You, 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 you make a lot of energy and you go boom and then you collide to uh, hydrogen atoms. They might be using deuterium. I don't know for sure. Um, I believe like fusion bombs use deuterium. Uh, but use a lot of energy and you collide two particles really fast. Boom. Fusion. It's, a uh... Strange, that's the same elements, uh... As a Warmind expansion. Yeah, Warmind is viewed more favorably because Warmind was the start of Destiny, or the return of Destiny to more, uh, loot, chase, grind. So you had things like the secret mission. You had, like, catalysts were introduced. Um, the comp grind to get, like, you know, actually coveted weapons. Um, Warmind was not perfect, but it was definitely the turning point. A lot of people consider Forsaken to be the turning point, and I would say Forsaken was more of the implementation point, but Bungie truly realizing that stuff was kind of going awry and starting to take steps to fix it was definitely one. Yo, Brandon, what's up, man? Yeah, exactly, Nicholas. Exactly. People will ask me like crazy, like inorganic chemistry questions. Like, dude, I make like fucking materials. Like, I don't fucking know. I don't know anything about manganese. How do more energy come out than go in? Dude, isn't that the crazy part? So fusion reactions are really cool. My understanding, once again, 
there's there's very simplified in this my understanding because they can start being like more self-sustaining and so if you make two hydrogen atoms for instance collide um you can actually generate enough energy is my understanding to cause two more to collide and, and fuse and so it's like a, that's like how the sun works but it usually takes like a lot of pressure like the sun works because it's so dense very dense large amounts of pressure it's self-sustaining i think there is something there's something um on a very much smaller scale similar to that to uh when you make a, a fusion reaction is my understanding of it once again a, a nuclear physicist or a nuclear engineer is definitely going to have problems with that explanation but that is my understanding as a once again polymer chemist so yes you do need to keep feeding them elements and i do think that there actually needs to be some form of uh energy source as well i, don't, I just don't know the, the specifics for it i feel like people are assuming doctor means something medical when it means something of high intellect well the for doctor actually comes from the the i think like the latin term for teacher um this is why i actually have a problem with calling medical doctors doctors they should be called physicians which is like the proper term um and doctors should be in my opinion reserved for academics and you know things like that so So true, I'm working on uh, neurotheology of insects. Oh, new yeah. Uh, the fuck do I know how plants work? Yeah, exactly, dude. Very cool. But that was like, so I tweeted out today because like uh, there's that fucking clickbait site. The Daily Loud or whatever. That's always like wrong about the shit it says. And it tweeted out. This was the first time humanity has achieved nuclear fusion. We literally did it in like the fucking 50s, you know? <laughs> like, no, that's wrong. Um, and people were, I was like, our most dangerous, like people just don't know that thermonuclear devices exist. Thermonuclear devices are really interesting from a scientific point of view, but they're, they're you know, they're obviously, they have the power to be in, in incredibly catastrophic and uh, are not real they're not based if you will um but so like so the original atomic bombs that like you the u.s use uh they work with uh i think one was uranium based and one was plutonium based and they split they split a single atom and that's nuclear fission and it's an insane amount of energy release and that's how big boom happens now thermonuclear weapons have like i said i believe it's deuterium it's it's either hydrogen or deuterium which is an isotope of hydrogen um and they use a fission bomb a small fission bomb to generate enough power to set off a fusion reaction between i think two two deuteriums but it might be two hydrogens and that causes bigger bigger boom and in fact um in fact uh i think it is estimated I've, i i believe i've heard this before um you, you know might might have to do small fact checking on this but the most powerful thermonuclear device that we have is thought that like if you, or you can make one big enough and powerful enough where it would cause um <laughs> it caused like detonation of the earth's atmosphere which is fucking insane. So don't use that, please. Polymethy, Polymethy? That's a cool name. Uh, he's mostly a person who learns more and more languages. A YouTuber who earlier today asserted that fusion reactions generated more energy than use is even true. So there was a, it was just reported that a group of scientists for the first time got more energy out of a fusion reaction than they put in, which is the first. The idea is eventually we'll be able to do that on a scale to harness. I don't think it's as simple as electricity in and electricity out. No, it's not. But it is a major step in the right direction, right? Um, as, as I've heard many scientists say, you know, it's been... Uh, 
it's been a, a 50 years of a decade away, right? So it's like, you know, we're constantly saying like, oh, we'll be able to use it, utilize this technology in 10 years. And then 10 years later, we're like, oh, 10 more years. That This is the next iteration of that. It's like, this is huge progress and this is very good. Um, but in it probably won't mean anything anytime in the relative future. Especially because with things like nuclear power, um, the public and especially a lot of like uneducated, you know, politicians then, they are very scared of the word nuclear. And so, for instance, uh, like an MRI, if you go in for uh, an MRI, those used to be called the NMRs, nuclear magnetic res uh, resonance, radiation, one, the two. Um, but they had to rename them because people wouldn't be stuck inside of an instrument that had the word nuclear, even though nuclear in that case meant like nucleus. Um, and so this is the, the public is, it has a, a very, a very limited vocabulary, but what they do know they're terrified of. And so that's that sort of reason. So for instance, like fission power could be really good for us. There's been a couple meltdowns, but if you look at the amount of energy generated per like death or whatever, nuclear power is like among the lowest. Whereas like coal, coal and oil are responsible for more deaths than like literally any other source of energy. Um, but you know, it's it's never like at once. It's never like a huge catastrophic event. So people don't really don't really care. Um, but like, for instance, you know, a lot of, uh, I believe a lot of, uh, I'm trying to remember a lot of fission devices, I think use plutonium. I think you're a, a, a activated uranium, but I think like more modern ones use plutonium, not uranium, or it's the other way around. I forget exactly how it works. Radioactive elements. Um, but I, d I think like most, like the, the most modern concepts actually use thorium, which, uh, is much safer in terms of the products that is eventually produced. So. I don't understand how nuclear waves are harmful and what they are. Uh, radio you don't understand how radioactivity is harmful. It's essentially a lot of energy that causes your cells to explode. I mean, they're, they're, and it's obviously very basic. The very, very, very crude definition of this, but just, you know, chemical bonds, if you put enough energy into a chemical bond, it breaks. And this, that's exactly how like fire works, you know? Um, and when chemical bonds break, that's very bad. So. From the nuclear powers to waste. Yeah, that's why thorium reactors are really, really interesting. And things like fusion don't generate necessarily radioactive waste. What is this? Oh, is this what you made? Oh, I'm shocked. Ornaments? I think they're stuck. I like it. Kind of looks like one of Kitty's paintings. Okay. Did you blow the glass? <laughs> oh, fair enough. Do you want to show them Kitty's paintings? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Do you want me to show them? Dude, my wife's such a nerd. Chad says hi. That's what? A nerd? Chat says hi. Hi, chat. Oh, I'll show them Kitty though. I get I get hate comments all the time where they're like, not enough cat content. I don't know if they can hear that. I'm always I'm unclear what my noise gate picks up and what it does. She doesn't like. Oh, so she she loves it. She's an attention whore. Why are you looking at me for, weirdo? Exactly, David. That's what I was just explaining. For sure, dude. Isn't thorium the thing in your throat? I hope thorium is not in your throat, shit. Saw a movie the other day where a couple of hackers uh, hacked a nuclear fusion tower to overheat it, causing it to explode and make an electromagnetic pulse, causing all electronics to stop working. So there's actually merit to that. So it has been actually well known that if you detonate um, like a nuke in or above Earth's atmosphere, it actually works as like a, a localized EMP. And so there are a lot of concerns about, this is why even if you like, if a nuke is launched and you intercept it and you blow it up, 
uh, this is one of the reasons there are a lot of concerns about it. Um, the other being like, you know, incredibly disastrous environmental impacts and things like the oceans due to like wind, uh, you know, carrying the radiation. But yes, uh, nukes can uh, emit like a, an EMP. I don't really understand that, but um, I have I have read about this as well. They use, still use nuclear submarines, yeah, it, because it's incredibly efficient. And you know, they I think a lot of submarines use thorium, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I am mistaken. Someone someone fact check me on that. But um. Because, you know, a, a small thing can, can power it forever. They don't have to, like, come up for fuel. Not forever, but... Uh, feel, uh, someone tell Felix he's, like, way behind. Do you write papers as a chemist as well? Yeah, that's part of being in grad school. You publish. I have two papers published. I have a third uh, very close to being published. And then maybe a fourth before I leave, but probably not. Bro, I'm a big dumb. You could tell me power plants, computers, all that modern shit works off of magic spells and whims of witches. I believe it, dude. It's actually, once you start to understand it, so like most thing, most electronics work uh, in, in, two, in two main ways. Um, you know, differences of like charge uh, and then like magnetism. So like a lot of hard drives and stuff, all of that's like magnetic. Um, not, not modern stuff, but like disk drives and stuff, that's all magnetic. Um, whereas more like modern, like SSDs and stuff, these are all, they're like trapped electron sinks. They're called fucking wild. Um, I don't know who the fuck engineers this bullshit, but they're insane. They're a lot smarter than I am. Yeah. Anything that causes radiation, big boy. I actually, I don't know. I mean, it depends on the size of the nuke, right? Um, but it's, it's. So it, it also depends on, yeah, like the size, the type of nuke and stuff, but like, um, it's not necessarily for that long, but it, it is a very long lasting effect. Or it can't, it has the potential to be a very long lasting effect. Uh, can that really happen in real life? Can a really bored hacker just one day decide to hack a nuclear power plant? Uh, my understanding is that most power pl plants are not connected to the internet, so no. In fact, I believe most nuclear systems, and maybe someone here is a nuclear engineer, you can uh, help me with this, but I believe most um, nuclear systems actually run off of like, still like floppy disks, like incredibly antiquated technology. So you, so to ensure like, yeah, there's no like internet windows updates or whatever, but also so like windows doesn't, you know, have like proprietary access to any of this shit or anything like that. Like, I think they're all run off of like super old computers, solid state information only. Yeah, it's all like analog. Yeah, exactly. Uh, have you seen uh, those magnetic devices that can wipe everything on computer? Uh, that shouldn't work with SSDs because I don't think there's an, any magnetic components actually storing information in SSDs, but with hard drives, yeah, it's just, a, it's literally a, mag, uh, a disc, usually I think they're aluminum, coated in a magnetic surface. And to encode data, you polarize part of this magnetic film. And so based off of the polarity, either if it's, you know, north, so like, you know, every, let's say like millimeter, I think they're actually like 10 millimeters or something. Uh, or no, it is, it's really small. It's on the millimeter scale. Um, you have like a north, south, north, south, north, south, south, north now. You know, they're, they're polarized in different directions and that encodes for like a bit of data. And so, uh, yeah, if you change the polarity of any part of that magne magnetic film, same thing with like credit cards and stuff, You'll you absolutely fuck up all of the information that's stored on it, because um, you're, you're you know if you're reading polarization and you fuck with the polarization, you can no longer read it. Uh, does Chernobyl cause an EMP as well? Uh, I don't think so. I don't really know. I mean, the Chernobyl thing was less of. It was less of like a large explosion, right? And it was, maybe it was, I don't know. But it, it was more of like a, a radiation leak over time, I thought. Maybe not. SSDs are, are fucking, dude, they're so hard to understand. I did uh, a report on this, uh, like a presentation actually, and SSDs are fucking insane how they work. 
they literally use like uh like quantum so there's a thing called electron tunneling uh which is like a huge like quantum fucking thing for quantum chemistry i don't understand how the fuck anyone understands what it means but someone figured out how to utilize it and ssds work on <laughs> so I worked with interconnection systems like power plant, transmission devices, etc. They basically they basically run like a LAN party from 2001. They have an internet, but not internet. It's a hardened system. Yeah. Fucking wild. Do you know if HDDs have any error correction for flip bits? I believe. Um, so I think a lot of modern HDDs, and once again, I'm like I'm a pong. But I think a lot of it, modern HDDs actually have uh, redundancies for data to help account for stuff like that. Um, but I think that's usually to counter like read write errors, I think. Uh, so maybe someone who's a computer science major, please bail me out here because I'm, I'm in way over my head. You got the gist of it? Okay, good. I heard you can dismantle prime engrams for shards now. No shot. Oh, fuck yeah. But, you, but still, you don't get the chance at the ascendant or the enhancement core, which is a huge thing. That's not really the same thing, Nicholas. What's even scarier than that? Uh, so if you guys have never heard of it, there is a um, there is a classification for lost nuclear devices for, that the United States have lost, and it's called Broken Arrow. And there are like a surprising number of lost like nukes just somewhere. I think a, a lot of them probably just fell into the sea during transport or whatever, but. There have been instances like I think there's one time um, like a nuke fell from a plane while they were transporting it. Uh, and I think it like landed in like Carolina, like one of the Carolinas and it didn't detonate. Turned out it was like a, it was, you know, uh, like a dud. I think nukes actually have to fall like a certain height. I think there's some sort of um, they have to like spin a certain number of times or they have to fall from a certain height or so it's some weird engineering fail safe, I believe. Um, but uh yeah america has a long history of losing nuclear devices which is pretty fucked up so um yeah so i think what it is it's uh okay yeah that's what it was i remember now uh so i think like uh, the original nuclear bombs worked uh like the atom bombs i think the way they started the the nuke was actually like there was a, a gun that shot a bullet and it, it, it 
broke open like the radioactive material and allowed it to react or something like this. Once again, fact check all. Um, but I believe that gun had a failsafe where it wouldn't shoot unless it unless it was going at a fast enough velocity or something like that. Um, just wild. Oh, I've never heard of that, James. Dude, it's fucking crazy. Does the U.S. own its own Raspbian to detonate nukes midair or something? I mean, we they almost certainly have defense capabilities. Have you ever seen the Iron Curtain in Israel? Um, the fact that there is anything in the world that has capabilities like that is insane. It, it, it just it is just a, a thing, an AI or whatever you want to call it, a computer program that is programmed to shoot missiles out of the air, and it is it is unbelievable. It is insane. Uranium is encased in an explosive shell that when exploding pushes the uranium atoms together. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that's fucking wild. I just, but just some, <laughs> it's just fucking crazy. Oh God, that shit makes me so nervous, man. Wait, lab, the wait, are you serious? The Iron Curtain one? Wait, yeah, I'm gonna okay. Yeah, I was about to say. Don't worry, I, I'm fact checking everything this chat tells me, dude. I've learned. I've learned my lesson there. The first time I, I streamed, and then I afterwards I went to my mom, I was like, someone in chat said they slept with you? What was that about? And then I I learned. I learned the concept of chat lying. And now, now I get it, dude. Now I get it. We have those systems on Iraq. We call them fouling system. They have hypersensitive radars that can see the mortar shell, aim a chain gun at a calculated path, and spray it down. It's fucking absurd. It is, uh... I much more appreciate the defensive capabilities of, like, really cool science more than, like, the, the destructive offensive stuff. You know? Um... And like that sort of stuff is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Engineers, some of the, the freakiest freaks you'll ever meet. I don't know how the shit they do, they, the shit they do, but. Literally probably saved my life many times. That's awesome. Um. Yo, Lab and Trip, do you want to do like maybe like five more runs? And then I think I'm going to go work on some um, Throne World stuff because I, I just want to get some of that done. I want to get some of the boring stuff done uh, while I'm streaming because that makes you that makes me. Um, when I'm streaming, it makes things less boring, so and I enjoy that. Yep, dude, Shrimp's ready to go. We can call it earlier, Shrimp, if you want. If you've had enough, we can just go, man. Up to you. When you say a chain gun, uh, Jonathan, how big are like the projectiles that are being fired? Like, how big are we talking? I guess I can just look up a, a phalanx system. Keep turning do and car around, and I'll leave right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to keep turning around. Yo, fellow interior, I got to go. I got too much homework to make up after uh, being home with the flu for a week. Farewell. May the light of the Iron Lords guide you. Dude, thanks for hanging out. Good luck on catching up. You got this, dude. God damn it, I always miss that second one.
Box is 20 millimeter. Holy. Dude, I just remember I've I've uh, the the Iron Curtain like I've seen clips of it and just the sound of it is just like it's it's just so hard to comprehend, you know. Technology, dude, scary but fucking cool. Iron Dome. Yes, that's what it is. Not Iron Curtain. Thank you. Thank you. But why'd you let me call it the wrong thing for like 20 minutes, chat? You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Why am I getting two shots back with FTTC? I guess FT. First time's the charm. Fourth time's the charm. Uh, skill base, I guess? Yeah, so that's what we're talking about, Dennis. So depending on like wind patterns and stuff, it's still well. Mo okay, so to be fair, the stuff that we're talking about here, uh, typically these are not nuclear devices that are being exploded, right? Like Predator missiles and shit. Um, maybe not Predator missiles exactly, but like that that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, there'll still be debris and stuff, but. Uh, with nukes and stuff, yeah, that should, you know, that's like a fallback. That's not, it's not a solution to the problem. It is minimizing and localizing destruction. Would you say the Tex, Tex Mechanica Sparrow, or Tex Mechanica Armor matches the theme of the dungeon? Uh, no. But it's a lot cooler than the fucking Hake Armor bullshit. Big predator guy. Absolutely wild. All right, two more, two more, and then we'll go. Um, then we'll go do some uh, dreaming. Nope, throne world stuff. Our favorite throne world. Hell yeah, brother! And I'll get some snowball kills. I'll get my different uh, ability kills as well. Hey, dude. Everyone's got their thing, you know? Um... I think I might switch back to Warlock, though. How am I doing on... Okay. That's pretty fucking good, man. That's a good head start. Do we agree that Dreadnought was better than Throne World? Yeah, like I said, a lot of this was just like, I really just want to farm out Bright Dust, so. I don't know why the Season of Hunted Ornaments weren't the duality armor. I, I, dude, I insist that they were supposed to be. You did the math for how much Dawning Essence it costs to get a hundred Bright Dust? Okay, well, I mean, so I believe a bounty, someone check me on this. I think a bounty gives 10. So you need to bake 10 cookies. So 100 Essence should be, oh yeah, it should, it should be one to one. So that should be about 1500 Bright Dust right there. Mercury's better than Throne World? 
Yeah. Yeah, average taking king stand, bro. You don't have the patience to farm bright test, dude. It's just like, it's just fun, bro. You just gotta send it, you know? I always do it. I, I love it. <laughs> All right, last one. Europe is the best location. I think the Dreaming City and then D2 Mars. I, I, I like Europa a lot. I feel like it's underutilized, but I do like it a lot. Oh shit, I'm gonna fucking die. Everyone over 13k bright test? Yeah, well, I'm not paid to win, bro, so. I do really like the throne world. Like, to be fair, I wish there was more stuff to do in it, but as a location, I like it a lot. I think it's very beautiful. And I enjoy spending time there. But there isn't a lot to do there, which is like why I count a lot of points off of the throne world location. GG, easy. All right, thanks for the farm gamers. Hold on that CP lab. Maybe we'll farm some more. Aha. But it was that was a good that was a good time. Thank you. Thank you. We got plenty of essence. Let's go do stuff in the throne world. So, which characters? Oh, why the fuck did I go to my that's not my warlock, by the way. Do you think the new Muna weapons are reskins? I mean, they look like it, but I also don't care. Gonna be honest, bro. I'm gonna watch The Walking Dead? Fuck yeah. Dude, James, hard agree, man. Scare, I'm gonna repeat because it's important. New Iron Banner Shader plus Starfire Protocol equals sex. Okay, okay, okay. You got me excited, you got my attention. Let's check. Bro, I'm gonna be so disappointed if this looks bad. Where the fuck is it? Flare. I already went there, but it's here. Seasonal, okay. Oh, is it activities actually? Oh, that is not what I was expecting. It makes it chain mail? That is not at all what I thought that was going to look like. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. Sheesh. Okay. I like... I like how they're starting to get more creative with their shaders. If you haven't upgraded the snowballs yet, you might want to hold off. Makes the snowballs way better, but turns mostly kills into shatter kills. Yes, the, there was that problem last year as well. New Muna weapons or reskins. Also, OMG, I love Funnel Web. I don't know what people... I feel like... I don't... Do people really care that much about what a gun looks like? Like, sure, they're like... I like cool-looking weapons. But I don't really care that much. Which cookies are going to be crafting? All of them. Whatever the bounties ask for. Oh, hey, Leah, brother. Die. I just don't, I just don't care that much, man. I don't know. Uh, weapons being reskins, like if it's like a bunch, like, okay, I'm sick of like the recluse one 
I'm sick of like the better devils one. Like, sure, okay. It'll be a little bit frustrating if they release more of those. I'll give you that. But it's like for stuff we've only had like once or a couple of times. Like, and plus they look sick, so I don't know. And as long as they feel different as well, right? Like that's a big part. I care more about what perks a weapon has and how it feels rather than like necessarily how it it looks or what base frame it has. Yeah, I've seen your Falcons is super cracked. It's interesting how they completely changed it from a PvE to a PvP exotic. And uh, it's still insanely good. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that big boy. I completely agree. You're about to be up to your ghost and scorn. And those ugly little ghouls gotta carve through you before they bug me. Play nice. Oh shit. Oh shit, body block, body block. Oh god. <laughs> I tried. How much does a normal public event give? Oh no, I've thrown. Fair enough. I was doing 20 alters or reflections super quick. That does not sound super quick at all. How much do patrols give? Patrols don't give any? What? Bro, who the fuck made this? That's cringe as fuck. Bro, that guy's got a big shield, holy. Heroic public events are only five. I mean, 20 heroic events isn't like, like that sucks, but it's not that bad, you know? I've definitely done worse in Destiny. It is a lot though, like especially for something where there's like 20 more triumphs, like that's quite a few. Whatever, title is what a title is, I guess. A title is as a title does, my famous saying. And it gives you Seraph key code, so you can just like do throw that in your rotation too. Not so bad. Could be worse. Could be better, but could be worse. Remember when that dude had a stasis shield? Yes. Like how many Witch Queen weapon kills do I have right now? 10% though, and that's not bad. Hey, at least I have enough essence to last me my entire life, so. The Lightfall raid weapons look terrible. We haven't seen the Lightfall raid weapons. We almost certainly will not see the Lightfall raid weapons until it launches. New leaks? Aw, oh, dude, fuck off. Hey, oops. Never once in the history of Destiny, never once in the history of Destiny has a weapon model leaked like that. 
You're being absolutely cumstered and dumpstered on right now, dog. I don't know who the fuck is trying to trying to sell you shit, but you're being absolutely you have you've never been so baited in your entire life. Bro, not enough enemies spawn here. There's just so many, like, there's so many good lies you can tell about leaks and saying, like, oh, the weapon model, that's the worst one. <laughs> True, Yukon. Dude, high key, I'm really excited for the the Lightfall raid, though. I, uh, I've got pretty high hopes, man. Oh, you're gonna turn my mom into a exotic? Shit. Oh, I did not mean to pick up a bounty. I don't even know where that came from. Dude. They're bringing my mom back for the life already, dude. That's wild. But, um... I think, uh, yeah. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited for life I, can you believe we're actually super, we're super close. Like what? We're two months away. Like how two months and two weeks, we're less than three months away from Lightfall. Isn't that insane? Like I, I know we talk about this all the time and why this season is felt, or this year has felt so short. Mostly because the previous three years have been delayed and they've been longer than a year. But like, dude, this, this year has felt so short, man. 10 weeks? Oh my God, when you put it like that shit, holy, that's actually scary, is what it is. I have so much to do in 10 weeks. If the Scorn gain control of the throne world, then the witness wins this battle. Stand your ground. Can't believe we've known each other for a year already. Is that when we met? When did we meet, actually? Dares? Why do you have to click different buttons for different balls to throw them? Hearing Dares? Holy, dude. This year's actually flown, oh, man. It's good, though, because it means, like, I'll be out of grad school before I know it. It's kind of crazy, because I remember when I was, like, when I, I was being gener- I was like, oh, I'm done with grad school in like eight months, but it's actually like closer to like 10. And I was just kind of coping, coping, copiuming. But it's like legit, like, I graduate early May. So it's like, I'm, I'm like five months away, like actually five months away. Like, fuck me. I get my PhD probably somewhere late March, early April. So it's like, what? What, dude, where's this time gone? I can't fucking wait, man. I'm so ready to be out of this hellhole. Holy. Yeah, Neo Muna looks awesome. But once again, like this year feels so short because like last year was literally like the last year of Destiny from Beyond Light to Witch Queen was, you know, actually a year and four or five months. Um, so. Of course, compared to that, this is going to feel very fast. Your fiance is finishing her PhD right now and she hates it. Yeah, it's dude. Let me tell you what's your, what's hers in. But it's not grad school. Not a fun place. Not a fun time. It's toxic. It's too much work. You don't get paid very well. It's just a pain in the ass, man. Mm. 
bruh. I both love and hate this year Destiny, Destiny mainly, mainly because my girlfriend broke up with me for getting ready for day one King's Fall. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. English education? She isn't into the emphasis on writing and research in academia? Yeah. What do you, like, what is, what is, when you publish for that sort of stuff, what do you even write about for, like, English and, oh, I guess, like, education, like, is it, like, how to teach stuff most effectively, or? When you transfer to the new job, I start, uh, late May. We haven't start, had, like, an actual date yet. Um, it'll be one of the last two weeks of May, though. Um. We actually just got final word today uh, that our everything with the new house went perfect. So we close uh, the day after Lightfall launches, the day before Lightfall launches, whatever that Monday is. Yeah, so the day before Lightfall launches, we have to drive up and sign for our, our house and, um, you know, do final walkthroughs and shit. Uh, and so that'll be awesome. And then um, Lightfall comes out, and I'll know life that for a couple weeks. And then I've got to get started on, you know, preparing the new house. Luckily, there's like a three month overlap. So we'll have plenty of time. I'm going to like redesign my office and stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to do everything myself. I'm going to change all the lights. I'm going to put in uh, like hot lights, rip out the flooring, do new carpets, and paint it and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've got a lot of things I really want to do to the house. But, uh, all that matters is that the fall, you know? remain standing thanks to your efforts. As always, we thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, she supervi supervises student teachers right now, so a lot of her writing will be on strategies, etc. Oh, okay, that's pretty awesome. Imagine if you drive up, then your car breaks down, you can't get home for a life fall. Why would you... Why the fuck would you say that? What? Let's see. It's motherfucker. I can't believe that. I'd rent a car. I don't even care. I can't believe you said that. That's unbelievable. That's super toxic. I would be molding, by the way. Finals week is murdering you right now, dude. I'm so glad I'm done with that shit. Would be a skill issue. How dare you? <laughs> so am I 8% right now? 10%. Don't know how that happened. Oh, it's the good one, too. Go ahead and pick this up. I know you're eavesdropping, neon nerds. Nothing brings folks together like a common. Oh, enemy. shit. Shoot something. Oh, God. You've got a lot of enemies. Watch your butts. Oh, nice. Just had to get close. Yo, Cloud. Stop. It's not funny. How much is a regular Lost Sector? Legend Lost Sectors are five, right? So how much is a regular one? I mean, that's a fast all sector too, right? Sixteen. Wait, nuns give you zero percent? Okay. 
give you any? What? Did I track it, by the way? Yeah, I did. On the real, you're a G. Uh, no, I don't. I don't care about essence. I care about percentage. Sorry. I've been watching you for two years now. I've never been born to stream. Love the content. Love what you do. Keep up the good uh, work. I'm get bored watching you. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate that. And thank you for the support over the years, man. API down again? I don't think so. I've not seen a tweet or anything about it. Oh my god, dude, the patrols are so hard to complete. Holy. Hard as in they're, they're fucking, there's so many. Which snowball upgrade messes up the triumphs? Whatever one freezes people. I don't know which one it is exactly off the top of my head because I haven't gotten any of them. It was working nice. Good stuff, good stuff. You listen to Warner Shore? I do know some Warner Shore. They're not, that's not really like my main uh, like genre of metal, but um, I know To the Hellfire and Pain Remains and all, all the classics. Does your wife address you as Scarrow by your real name? What kind of question is that? Of course, Scarrow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course she doesn't call me that, dude. That's weird as fuck. No, honey. Call me Scarrow. Can you imagine that? Goes for the bedroom, that's right. <laughs> that's right, that's absolutely right. So you're telling me this is gonna give me zero? Oh, is this the one with the three plates? Ah, oh, shit, this one is not fast. I thought it was, then I remembered what it was. That's right, story boy. Will Ramos is incredible. He is. I mean, it is it is unbelievable what he can do, for sure. He's got a cold front with zero stability and zero reload, dude. Optimal. What the fuck is going on here? Hey, at least you get a lot of kills for the cold front in here, though. But you're telling me this is about to give me zero percent. Who's ready for the Gambit grind screen this weekend? A stream, by the way, uh, this weekend, guys. We're gonna try to do both of our resets, or, you know, reset and a half or whatever on stream. God, I hate myself. <laughs> Yo, Dark Guardian, how you doing? How you doing? There are no triumphs for this event? Uh, look under the title. There's a lot of triumphs for this event. I'm excited to get Gambit out of the way. That is that is for sure. I'm not exci excited to play it, but I am excited to get rid of it. 24 hours? No, God, it won't take that long. I think it's like a four hour grind max. Maybe a little bit longer. We're gonna be zooming. Why'd you do that to yourself? Because I wanna play Gambit one time this season and I never wanna play it again until I, I'm absolutely forced to. So it's double Gambit uh, rep right now. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna fucking do it and then I'm gonna be done with it. No, not 24 hours of Gambit, dude. I don't hate myself. That's That literally will never happen. Just get the title gilded. Yep. 
Just get it out of the way. Guild it. Get the get the uh, ornament. And uh, go from there. Is this the first cube drop we've ever had in Destiny, by the way? Oh, shit. David, how you doing, man? Why would I do that, James? What? Oh, that gave 5%. Why are people doing legend law sectors? Regular law sectors also get 5%. Right? I'm not dumb, am I? That, that just gave 5%, I think. What public event is this? Oh, it's an ether one, probably. Um, I actually don't know, Stan. That's a really interesting question. I forgot that people were doing that last time. I do not know. Oh, true, um... Why don't you stack up the seasonal challenges for game and do them later when Double Infinity comes back? Uh, cause... I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'll do the seasonal challenges. I might. Uh, I'll, I'll need to do Gambit again anyways once Hawthorne brings the bounty around, cause I'm, I'm gonna be bounty prepping. So... Easy snowballs. Too bad they didn't put snowballs in the um, in the Golgroth's maze. Did they? I don't think they did, but that would be actually sick. That would actually be sick. Oh, oh, wee. oh wait. This might give credit. Nope, did not. It's a good farm for the event. Uh, for Essence, Shattered Throne CP doing Karu is going to be the fastest. Um, for everything else, uh, I guess if you just want to make like one specific type of cookie, then um, farming in <clears throat> Golgroth's Maze is fine. Um, but I would just kind of, I'm just doing the title and then I'm going to go from there. Ten weeks is a life all means three weeks until I need to start doing the Senate challenges. Oh, that's actually such a fucking good shout, man. I forgot. You're right. God, I gotta get back on that spreadsheet grinds. I just have I have so much shit I need to do, man. This season, with how many triumphs there are, literally, once again, need I remind everyone, literally the most amount of new seals in a season since seals started in Forsaken. It's also the shortest season of all time absolutely wild the season is fucking crammed and it's like oh my god and i have to fit in what like bounty prepping as well that's why like i'm, I'm glad i got like um you know uh, got fucking uh glorious out of the way we'll get gambit guild out of the way oh we already got the um the the dungeon one out of the way so it's like you know we're making progress but shit man is shield yeah the other one had a really big one too i don't really know what sorry or why why that was oh man all righty <clears throat> all right chat i'm very hungry it's been a three-hour stream that's pretty good
Um, I think I'm gonna go eat. Uh, and then tomorrow, um, we'll have a TWAB stream, we'll have more grind stream. And yes, that. And then... What else? What else am I doing? I feel like there's something else important this week, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, man. Couple of shorts coming at you over the next couple of days that I need to make. And yeah. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Love your faces. Uh, more of a, a farmy stream, but tomorrow we'll start knocking off triumphs and stuff. Um, thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic night. Love your faces. I'll catch you very soon.